it's no secret that Google has been trying to weave AR and VR into the fabric of the web for at least a couple months now. But we just got a chance to try an AR application that's not actually an application at all. It lives directly on a web page that we were able to access using an early version of Chromium. It's fascinating. Let's take a closer look. The thing to keep in mind is that AR itself is not exactly the most novel thing. AR Core, for example, has been around for a while and has allowed Google to pull off some really interesting tricks both in its Pixel devices and more broadly across Android, which is a testament to how pervasive this technology has become on a technical and kind of cultural level. What's really neat about bringing AR to the web is that it breaks down the barriers. You never have to worry about having enough storage space left on your device to dig into a really surprisingly neat AR experience. The one that we tried is, to be fair, not a live website. It's a very specially coded demo that Google put on for us, but it allowed us to plop a beautiful sort of gilded Mayan statue right on the floor in front of me inside Google Sandbox demo area. You can't rescale it because it's obviously meant to be life size, but you can move it around a room and walk around it with six degrees of freedom and really get up close to this piece of art that you would never really have gotten to see in such a way from the comfort of your living room. Beyond that, we were also able to tap certain data points that sort of attach themselves to the statue that let you dig into more specific information about the cultural context and the history of the statue itself. When Google first announced its AR web ambitions in January, it talked up a couple other demos, but this has been the most impressive I've seen so far, if only because you get a chance to actually maneuver with it and see how well it works when everything goes correctly. Now, we are running this demo on a Google Pixel 2 XL, which is still, despite being a little on the older side of things, a very powerful smartphone, and things work remarkably smoothly. And that's because of a lot of really interesting under-the-hood things Google has done to keep everything running as smoothly as possible. For one, they're keeping the polygon counts on these models relatively low. They're also trying to keep the number of light sources down and reducing the detail of shadows when you're running on a mobile device. We were testing that AR web experience in Chromium and we're told that the feature is gonna be available in the Canary preview builds within a matter of weeks. The big question is when this thing is going to become part of Chrome standard, and we don't really have a great answer for that. If you remember, it took about three years for Google to make VR in the browser a possibility, but it doesn't seem like it's going to take as long this time around. They've laid a lot of the groundwork the first time, and although we can't really say when you'll be able to start looking at statues in the real world on your smartphone, in your browser, it shouldn't be too, too long. 